guys want to open the Creality CV1 laser engraver? Well, let's open it right now. Whoa, you guys should definitely see this. So over here, we just have to get rid of this. And now things get to be fun. So they gave us some cardboard, just cool. An instruction manual, which we're not going to use. And of course, here is the laser engra engraver itself. So basically, it's going to turn out like this. So as you guys can see, this is the laser engraver CV1. Okay, now let's open this up. Here we got a bunch of screws and things like that. Then next, we got some safety goggles. I look fresh. Then let's see what's inside this box. Ooh, a power adapter. And now it's time to take the laser engraver out. So this is the laser engraver without the packaging. And as you guys can see, this definitely does not look like a toy. So I'll be needing to read the manual and I'll be getting back to you guys so we can start this laser engraver. To connect our laser engraver, we're meant to put this right here. Just need to get the perfect position. But that's not it. We also have to open this and we also have to lock it with these. Let's open this. Let's take everything out. Oh, and guys, would you believe it? There's a flash disk. And I'm pretty sure we used this for the software. So we're now going to start locking these. Guys, here we have the stepper motor for the X axis. And here we have the stepper motor for the Y axis. And then, do you guys see these little two wires? These little two wires are used for the Y axis and the X axis. And as you guys can see, here is written X and here is written Y. So we're going to put the x-axis one right here. So we put the x-axis one right here and we're going to put the y-axis one right here. So now we connected the stepper motors for both y-axis and x-axis. Guys, the assembly process of this laser engraver was an absolute piece of cake. And guys, look what we engraved. We engraved sugar key and we also made this emblem for the Volkswagen. And just look at how much materials we can use. We can use paper. We can also use different types of paper. And we also have many different colors. Oh, and we also get to use wood. And this is pretty awesome. Okay, so now it's time for the software. And luckily, it comes with this little flash disk. So the moment we plug in the flash disk, we get to download the software. But I saw that there was a little bug downloading the software, so we got it from the internet. And now this is the software, and it's pretty cool. But we need a picture to engrave. So we're going to go to open, and we're going to choose any one of these pictures. And I say we choose this Bugatti. And there are three different versions of this Bugatti we can use. We can either use outline, grayscale, or black and white. Personally, I enjoy the black and white. And if you guys see over here, we can even change its size. So rather from 170, we can make it 25. But I say we keep it at 170. And if we see here, there is something called speed and power. So basically speed, it would just make the engraver work faster. But power, power is something different. For example, if we put the power on 100, the engraver would fully engrave into the piece of wood or fully cut the piece of paper. But if the power is low, it would not do that much damage. Okay, so we're going to lower the size a bit. So we're going to change it from 170 to how about 95 or 90 and yeah. And now there's one step before we can start engraving. We have to plug in this flash disk. And if you guys can see right here, there's a little micro card that we're going to put in the laser printer. So we're going to plug in our flash disk. Then we're going to export the G code. And then we're going to name it anything. We're going to name it hello and that's it well not yet we have to take this micro card and we have to put it into the laser engraver so let's do that okay so we're going to place in the micro card and it's now placed in okay guys so basically there is this thing that we can turn around and if we put it like this it should be narrow but if we put it the other way it's going to be wide and if you guys want a sharp design you guys should make it as narrow as possible but if you guys want something as a test then make you wide so now let's start engraving <laughs> All we need to do is press this button and now it will start. So I'm not too sure if you guys can see it or not, but smoke comes out whenever we engrave and that smoke is going to start affecting the lens, which is very, very, very bad. So I suggest you guys bring a mini van with you and then with the mini fan, we can power it on 
and then we don't have to deal with smoke. But now the smoke is getting pushed away from the lens because of the mini fan. So it is recommended that you guys get a mini fan and you guys do this in order to maintain the lens life. Okay, but guys, luckily we have gotten two spare lenses in case we need to replace the first one. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want to see more like it, press the post notification button. And if you guys really, really enjoyed this video, then press the thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more content just like this, then subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>